thank the President. We will yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. With. Without objection. I believe there's a nomination. They'll be moving forward. Morning business is closed. Under the previous order, the Senate will proceed to the executive session to consider the following nominations, which the clerk will report. Nomination Vincent L. Braschetta of New York to be United States District Judge. John A. Kronstadt, Kronstadt of California to be United States District Judge. There will now be one hour equally divided between the two sides. Madam President. Senator from Illinois. I ask unanimous consent that I be allowed to uh, speak uh, out of turn as if in morning business. Without objection. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, last week in Chicago, we announced Tax Freedom Day, the day that marks uh, the time when Illinois residents have paid off their federal and state tax burdens. The Tax Foundation, a nonpartisan organization that determines Tax Freedom Day, found that this year Americans will pay more on their tax burdens than they do on food, shelter, and clothing combined. Tax Freedom Day falls on April 15th in Illinois and on April 12th nationwide. And yet Tax Freedom Day underestimates how heavy the government's burden is and only reflects the size of the bills that we actually pay to the government, not its spending that we are pushing off on future generations in the form of higher deficits and debt. If we paid all of our bills to the government the way it spends money, then Tax Freedom Day would not come until May 23rd. With a government that consumes so much, it's fair to ask, is the government spending as efficiently as possible on programs that it's funding? Sadly, it's very clear that waste, fraud, and duplicate, duplication exists widely in the federal government. To call attention to this issue, I introduced the Silver Fleece Award in homage to Senator William Proxmire's Golden Fleece. But this award is made of silver, not gold, because we are headed for more austere times. In the month of February, this uh, award was voted by Facebook users on the Wastebook as given to a program awarding $1 million to provide signs displaying poetry in zoos. I rise today to announce the nominees for the month of March and to announce the winner. The second runner-up was a grant related to the Intermodal Surface Transportation Efficiency, ICE-T, and Safe, Accountable, Flexible, and Efficient Transportation Equity Act, safety Lou which awarded $150,000 to create special tunnels for salamanders to pass under a Vermont road. First runner-up was a video game funded by the federal government called Wolf Quest, which was developed using a National Science Foundation grant of $609,160 to the Minnesota Zoo. However, the March winner of the Silver Fleece Award with a 63% vote is a grant of $460,000 funding a study on why people lie on text messages, instant messaging services, social networking sites, and other modern communication systems. Yes, we spent as taxpayers over $460,000 of hard-earned taxpayer monies to study why people lie when communicating electronically. I would also like to announce that there are new nominees now for the April Silver Fleece Award. This month's nominees were put forward by a leader on the issue fighting pork and government waste in the House of Representatives, Congressman Jeff Flake of Arizona. Congressman Flake nominated a $450,000 grant from the State Department for art shows in Venice, Italy, $130,276 in National Health Foundation funds to sponsor the creation and distribution of a cookbook 
and $328,835 spent on an Air Force photo op over New York City. We invite your votes and your, feed and your feedback on Wastebook on Facebook to decide what next month's Silver Fleece Award winner will be. The sad thing in all of this is the only current loser is the American people. And Madam President, I now suggest the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka.
Thank you. 
ask that the calling of the quorum be suspended. Without objection. Mr. President, uh, the Senate will confirm two more of the President's uh, judicial nominees. Uh, both of these uh, nominees are for seats that are termed judicial emergencies. My Republican colleagues and I continue to demonstrate our cooperation. We've worked with the Democratic majority in moving consensus nominees through the committee and onto the Senate floor. With today's votes, we will have confirmed 17 judicial nominees in just 39 short days. The Senate has been in session this Congress. Twelve of these confirmations were again for those uh, positions that are termed judicial emergencies. We have reported out a committee a total of 32 judicial nominees. That's 51 percent of the total nominees that have been submitted to the Senate by the President of the United States. To date, we've held five nomination hearings with 21 judicial and executive nominees giving their testimony. We have another hearing scheduled for tomorrow with four judicial nominees and one executive nominee on the agenda. With this pro productive pace, we have taken positive action on 60 percent of the judicial nominations sent to the committee this year by the President. Today, the Senate will consider two nominations. First, Vincent Bruschetti, nominated to U.S. District Judge for Southern District, New York. He received a B.A. from Columbia University and Juris Doctorate from Fordham University School of Law. The nominee began his legal career as a law clerk for the Honorable John M. Canella, U.S. District Court for Southern District, New York. After a short term in private practice, he served as an assistant U.S. attorney, and that was also for the Southern District, New York. And later, he became a deputy chief appellate attorney. After working as an associate attorney in a law firm, the nominee started his own firm in 1992, and as I report to my colleagues regularly on the ABA Standing Committee on the Federal Judiciary, that committee has unanimously rated this nominee well qualified. The second nominee is John Kronstadt, nominated to be U.S. District Judge Central District, California. He received his B.A. from Cornell University and Juris Doctorate from Yale Law School. He began his legal career as a law clerk to the Honorable William P. Gray, U.S. District Court, Central District, California. This nominee practiced law for nearly 24 years, most recently as a partner with Arnold and Porter. Uh, on November the 14th, 2002, Governor Gray Davis appointed Judge Kronstadt to the Los Angeles Court County Superior Court. There he presided over criminal, civil, and family law matters. Again, reporting on the American Bar Association rating of this nominee, the nominee uh, had a substantial majority qualified a minority well qualified. I support these two nominees, urge my colleagues to support them as well, and congratulate each of these nominees for their achievement and more importantly for their long period of public service, which will continue after their confirmation by the United States Senate. I thank you, Mr. President, and I uh, yield the floor. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka.
Without objection. The nomination of Vincent C. Bruschetti to be the United States District Judge for the Southern District of New York is confirmed. The question is on the nomination of John A. Kronstadt. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka, Mr. Alexander, Ms. Ayat, Mr. Brasso. Mr. Bacchus, Mr. Baggage. Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bingaman, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman, Mrs. Boxer. <laughs> Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. No, I think it's, uh, it happened better than it could have been. Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey, Mr. Chambliss, Mr. Coates, Mr. Coburn, Mr. Cochran, Ms. Collins, Mr. Conrad, Mr. Coons, Mr. Corker, Mr. Cornyn, Mr. Crapo, Mr. DeMint, Mr. Durbin, Mr. Ensign, Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein, Mr. Franken. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mr. Graham. Mr. Grassley. Ms. Hagen. Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch, Mr. Hoven, Ms. Hutchison, Mr. Inhoff, Mr. Inouye, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, Mr. Johnson of South Dakota, Mr. Carey, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Cole, Mr. Kyle, Ms. Landrew, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, 
Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Mr. Lieberman. Mr. Luger. Mr. Manchin. Mr. McCain. Ms. McCaskill. Mr. McConnell. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Merkley. Ms. Mikulski. Mr. Moran. Ms. Murkowski. Mrs. Murray. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska. Mr. Nelson of Florida. No, that's good. Well, thanks. It was a good event. It was a good event. You were wonderful. You were better, so that's good. Mr. Paul. We all got the email. Mr. Portman. Mr. Pryor. Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Sessions. Ms. Shaheen. Mr. Shelby. Ms. Snow. Ms. Stabenow. Mr. Tester. Yes. Mr. Thune. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Udall of Colorado. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Mr. Webb. Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Mr. Alexander, Mr. Barrasso, Bacchus, Lumenthal, Cochran, Corker, Cornyn, Crapo, Grassley, Harkin, Isaacson, Johnson of Wisconsin, Kirk, Cole, Kyle, Leahy, Lee, McCaskill, McConnell, Murray, Roberts, Tester, Thune. Mr. Johans, Mr. Johans, aye. Mr. Risch, Mr. Risch, aye. No senator voted in the negative.
Mr. Inhofe. Mr. Inhofe. Aye. Ms. Feinstein. Mrs. Feinstein. Aye. Ms. Boxer. Mrs. Boxer. Aye. Ms. Ayat. Ms. Ayat. Aye. Mr. Inouye. Mr. Inouye, aye. Mr. Luger. Mr. Luger, aye. Mr. Ensign. Mr. Ensign, aye. Mrs. Hagen. Mrs. Hagen, aye. Ms. Mikulski. Ms. Mikulski. Aye. Mr. Nelson, Nebraska. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska. Aye. Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey. Aye. Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Aye. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Toomey, aye. Mr. Webb, Mr. Webb, aye. Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Lautenberg, aye. Mr. Coons, Mr. Coons, aye. Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Whitehouse, aye. Mr. Franken, Mr. Franken, aye. Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Lieberman, aye. Mr. Blunt, Mr. Blunt, Aye. Mr. Carper. Mr. Carper. Aye. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Aye. Mrs. Stabenow. Mrs. Stabenow. Aye. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Aye. Mr. Coburn, Mr. Coburn, aye. Mr. Udall, Mr. Udall of New Mexico, aye. Mr. Sanders, Mr. Sanders, aye. Portman, 
Mr. Portman, aye. Mr. Sessions. Mr. Sessions, aye. Mr. Warner. Mr. Warner, aye. Mr. Carey. Mr. Carey, aye. Ms. Collins. Ms. Collins, aye. Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Chambliss, aye. Ms. Gilbrand. Ms. Gilbrand, aye. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Rubio, aye. Mr. Binghamin. Mr. Binghamin, aye. Mr. DeMint. Mr. DeMint, aye. Ms. Hutchison. Ms. Hutchison, aye. Ms. Cantwell. Ms. Cantwell, aye. Ms. Snow. Ms. Snow, aye. Mr. McCain. Mr. McCain, aye. Mr. Pryor. Mr. Pryor, aye. Mr. Moran. Mr. Moran, aye. Mr. Hoven. Mr. Hoven, aye. Mr. Bozeman. Mr. Bozeman. Aye. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Aye. Mr. Akaka. Mr. Akaka. Aye. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Cardin. Aye. Ms. Shaheen. Ms. Shaheen, aye. Mr. Baggage. Mr. Baggage, aye. Mr. Renzi. Mr. Renzi, aye. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, aye. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Durbin, aye. Ms. Landrieu, Ms. Landrieu, aye.
Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson of Florida. Aye. Mr. Manchin. Mr. Manchin. Aye. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Menendez. Aye. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown of Ohio. Aye. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Conrad, aye. Ms. Klobuchar. Ms. Klobuchar, aye. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Schumer. Aye. Mr. Udall. Mr. Udall, Colorado. Aye. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rockefeller. Aye. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Hatch. Aye. Mr. Shelby. Mr. Shelby. Aye. Mr. Levin. Mr. Levin. Aye. Ms. Murkowski. Ms. Murkowski. Aye. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coates. Aye. Mr. Wyden. Mr. Wyden. Aye. Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul. Aye. Mr. Merkley. Mr. Merkley. Aye. 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 Mr.